Dear students, let us look at how do we carry out the kinetic studies experiment for studying a first order reaction. As an example, we'll take up the hydrolysis of ester in acid medium and how do we carry out the kinetic studies by titration method. Okay, now we'll take up the uh, ethyl acetate as an example of the ester. Okay, and the hydrolysis of ethyl acetate can be uh, written as like this, ethyl acetate plus water. In the presence of acid, you, you get acetic acid and ethanol. So, some amount of acid also is to be added in the reaction mixture. Now, uh, we have discussed this reaction uh, when we were discussing about the pseudo order reaction. Because uh, uh, even though the reaction needs water for the uh, to proceed, but the water doesn't come, the concentration of water term does not appear in the rate expression. And we have discussed this in detail. Uh, that's because water is present in large quantities and its concentration is not going to make any effect on the rate, isn't it? And hence, we write the rate expression as rate equal to K in the concentration of ethyl acetate. And so, this is a pseudo, order, pseudo first order reaction. That is, it appears to be second order, but then actually it follows a first order kinetics. Now, how do we carry out the reaction? I um, mean, kinetic studies. Uh, we take the reaction, uh, I mean, we take the reaction mixture in the reaction pot, carry out the reaction, and titrate the reaction mixture at regular intervals of time against NaOH. Okay? And when the volume of NaOH consumed can be corresponded or can be related to the amount of ethyl acetate present in the reaction mixture or the acetic acid formed during the reaction. Let us see. Okay. Now, the experimental setup is something like this. We have the reaction uh, mixture taken in the reaction pot. We place it in a water bath to maintain constant temperature. Okay. You're not go we are not going to vary the temperature at all. Okay, so that effect is controlled. And then uh, the reaction mixture will be having ethyl acetate, water, and the acid catalyst you're using. And also, as time passes, it will have acetic acid and ethanol. So, initially, at time T0, the reaction mixture will be having only ethyl acetate, water, and the acid catalyst you're using. You can use either sulfuric acid or HCl as the catalyst. Okay. Now, so initially when you, uh, when you take the reaction mixture, that is at time T0, when you take the reaction mixture, the uh, amount of NaO and titrate it against uh, NaOH, okay, you are taking the reaction mixture, putting it into the conical flask, you add uh, the suitable indicator, titrate it against NaOH, the uh, amount of NaOH consumed will be equal to the amount, will be corresponding to the amount of acid catalyst you have used. Okay, that is at time t, uh, sorry, at time 0, t0, when t is equal to 0, that is the initial uh, reaction mixture when you take up, the amount of NaOH uh, consumed will be equal to the amount of catalytic acid you are using. But as time proceeds, Maybe at time t, when you take out the reaction mixture and carry out the titration, the amount of NaOH consumed will be equal to the amount of acid catalyst you have used as well as the acetic acid formed. All right, now uh, we'll uh, do it. I mean, and so what you have to do is you have to uh, remove, I mean, uh, expel or you'll have to take out the amount of uh, NaOH used up for acid. Uh, the acid catalyst you use to get the exact concentration of acetic acid formed or to get the exact concentration of ethyl acetate reacted. Okay, it's very simple. We shall see it. Okay, so uh, let us uh, uh, consider V0 as the volume of NaOH required to neutralize uh, uh, when NaOH used up initially, okay, at T equal to 0. Okay, so that you can put it here. So, V0 is the amount of uh, NaOH consumed at T0 and that will be proportional to the amount of the acid catalyst we have used for the reaction. Okay, because no acetic acid will be formed at T0. 
But as time passes, hydrolysis happens and acetic acid will be formed in the reaction mixture. So the volume of NaOH consumed at time t, that is Vt, will be proportional to the amount of acetic acid and the amount of sulfuric acid you are using or the amount of acid catalyst you are using for the uh, reaction. Now remember always the volume of uh, the amount of sulfuric acid or the acid catalyst you your present in the reaction mixture will be the same because you are not going to add it again. Okay, that's the catalyst, it remains there, the concentration remains the same at any time. But the amount of acetic acid increases, changes because as time passes, more of ethyl acetate undergoes hydrolysis. Okay, so to get the exact amount of uh, NaOH required to uh, neutralize the acetic acid form, what you have to do is you have to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Okay, so when you do that, you get the Vt minus V0. Okay, Vt minus V0. That will be proportional to the amount of acetic acid formed at time t. And this can be equated to the amount of ester reacted at time t. Okay, Vt minus V0 is proportional to the amount of acetic acid formed or amount of the uh, ester hydrolyzed. Okay, so you can put it as X, amount of acetic acid formed is X or the amount of ester which has been hydrolyzed. Okay, now uh, you would, uh, what you do is you at regular intervals of time you take out the reaction mixture, carry out the titration. Then what you have to do is you take the reaction, you allow the reaction to be completed. Okay. Of, uh, say after at infinite time when all the rea all the ester has been consumed and has been hydrolyzed to acetic acid, the reaction mixture, the reaction mixture in the reaction pot will be having acetic acid, ethanol, the acid catalyst and water. Ester will not be present because all the ester has been converted to acetic acid and ethanol. Okay, so the volume of NaOH consumed at T infinity, V infinity, that is V infinity is the volume of NaOH consumed, will be corresponding to the acetic acid form and the uh, catalytic acid you have used. And when you subtract the volume of uh, uh, NaOH consumed initially from V infinity, you get A, that is the initial concentration of the ester, okay, because all the ester has been con converted into acetic acid. So, the volume of acetic acid at infinite time will be corresponding to the volume of or the concentration of the ester. So, that you can put it as A. Alright, now that is the initial concentration of ester, that is A. Now, what we can do is, uh, you subtract equation 3 from equation 4. Now, equation 4 is V infinity minus V0 proportional to A and equation 3 is Vt minus V0 proportional to X. Okay, so A, A, A represents the amount of ester present initially. X represents the amount of ester used at X time T. Okay. So, when you subtract 3 from equation 3 from equation 4, you get the expression in, of A minus X in terms of volume, V infinity minus Vt. Alright, so this, that is equation 5 and then this, this, this equation 4 and 5 can be substituted in the, our uh, integrated rate expression, K equal to 2.303 by T log A minus A by A minus X. A is the amount of ester present initially, A minus X is the amount of ester present at time T and that is equation 5, okay. So, you substitute the value, for A you have V infinity minus V0, for A minus X you have V infinity minus Vt. So, you are substituting equation 4 and equation 5 in this equation, in the integrated rate expression, okay. So, now 
you can easily calculate. So this V infinity you get from the experimental value, V0 you get V, T also you get, T also you have, you can calculate K, okay, by substituting this expression, I mean the volumes in this expression and you can get K, okay, and when you, at a way, the, the amount or this rate, this expression, that is this term, V infinity minus V0 will be the same every time, but V infinity minus Vt keeps changing. So whatever V infinity minus Vt you have, if you get the same K value, then you can say that the reaction follows a first order kinetics. Now let us see uh, how the experimental values will look up. I have taken an example. Now this is a table showing the experimental values of uh, uh, esterhydrolysis, okay, kinetic studies of esterhydrolysis. So, this at time 0, the volume of NaOH consumed is 11.5, that corresponds to the acid catalyst you have used. At time t, that is after 10 minutes, the amount of uh, NaOH used is uh, 12, that means it will be 11.5, that is the amount of uh, NaOH corresponding to the acid catalyst as well as the amount of acetic acid formed. So as time passes, you can see that the volume of NaOH consumed is increasing. That shows that acetic acid is formed. And at infinite time, the amount of NaOH consumed is 25.5. That indicates that uh, this indicates the volume of uh, the uh, NaOH required for uh, neutralizing the acid catalyst as well as the acid, uh, acetic acid formed from the whole of the ethyl acetate. Alright, so this will be V0, 11.5 will be V0, 25.5 will be V infinity, 12, 12.5 and 13 will be Vt at different intervals of time, at different time t, 10, 20 and 30 respectively. You can substitute it in, uh, 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 in the integrated rate expression or then you can plot the graph, okay, the same first order plots uh, pattern you will get, okay. And if you are getting a straight line, you can uh, say that uh, the reaction follows a first order. Also, you can theoretically, or uh, I mean, you can uh, uh, carry out the, I mean, prove that this is a first order by substituting it in the rate, integrated rate expression, okay, V infinity minus V0 will be 25 minus 5 by minus 11.5, and V infinity minus Vt will be 25.5 minus 12, and when t is 10, 25.5 minus 12.5 when t is 20 and v infinity minus vt will be 25.5 minus 13 at t equal to 30 minutes, okay. And when you, if you get same k value, then you can say that the reaction is of a first order. And that's how they found that the ester hydrolysis in acidic medium is a first order reaction and not a second order reaction and thus we have uh, we term it as or we put it as a pseudo first order reaction. Hope this is clear to you regarding the uh, kinetic studies of uh, ester hydrolysis. Try to solve a lot of problems related to this okay and if you have find any difficulty in solving the problems or finding any difficulty in understanding what I have explained now please feel free to ask me. Thank you.